Hey everyone, we're going to do another How to Clean Fish episode with Big Mouth Buff. We shot these last night and we had them on ice all night, so we're going to sit here and show you how to get the rib meat out the easiest way. With the rib meat, I'm going to come in, and I shot this one right perfect, So, but otherwise you get a good nice sharp tip knife and you come right down the lateral line. When you come down the ladder line, you turn at the gill, of course, you come down the gill, all the way down to the stomach. Come on. There we go. And you come down to right here at the bottom of the anal, bend and vent, and cut down all the way. Then you get a good pair of shears, or tin snips, or side cuts, any of those. And you come in, and you trim the butt. The bones. When you trim those, you just scrape off the cavity, the insides, and then you feel for the bottom of the ribs, about a half inch below them, and just cut straight off. That is the easiest way to get the rib meat out. Now, what a lot of guys do is they sit here and they clean all this stuff off and they leave the bones, once it's all nice and scraped off and clean, they leave the bones in. As you can see, these bones are huge, they're big, they're spaced out nice. What they'll do is they'll come through and you cut through and you sit here and you make fingers. And when you make those fingers, you can fry the fingers just the way they are. Take the skin off everything, the red meat. Like I said, leave the bones right in. When they're done, you can break them, and the bones pop right out. It's super easy. Now, personally, I think it's just as easy if to not cut the ribs and follow the ribs real closely with your fillet knife to get all the meat. And if you do cut it out like this, like I was saying, you can still come in, you run your tip of your knife and get started and you go down right below the ribs. Then you come through and you take the skin off just like any other normal fish. You can get the red meat and everything right off on the ladder line here. You just float a little high and then you go straight down to the skin and you flay it off just like any normal fish. through Come on. Come on. as you can see Come got on. most of the red and meat off and the skin so we'll just clean it up a little Now, like I was saying, with the little cut I made above the ribs, you flip it over and run your knife down the top of the ribs like you would if they were still in the fish if you didn't want to leave the ribs in. Now that is all boneless, ready to get chunked up how you want. And like I said, just that little tiny strip of meat that you leave between the ribs and you can take that silver skin off if you would like. But like I said, you can still leave that part on the fish and just float your knife right over the ribs real tight and it'll all come off picture perfect. Now, another way to do it is to take the whole fillet and let's get this knife again. Come in on the scales. Skip this like little triangle here. 
because it's just full of honeycomb type little bones. Then you fillet this just like you would every other normal fish you fillet. And then skip out on the tail section. It's just a lot of bones and not a lot of meat back there. So now I'm actually going to go down to the ribs like you would normally. And when you get to the top of the ribs, you get your shears again. And come in and cut the ribs. Now, when you do that again, separate the cavity. Get right below the rib bones. Cut all the way through. Don't help, I shot right through the rib meat on that one. Now, you have your regular filet, the whole filet. You can take this and smoke it like it is. You can get it. Right on top of the ribs. Fillet down. Take the skin off, just like we were doing earlier and on every other type of normal fish. If you're wanting to fry these. Stakes that I shot this one right through the ribs because there ain't a whole lot staying on there. And there's the rib meat again. I just clean up that little hair. But now, this top portion is really good also. Again, cut down the ladder line because it's just a lot of red meat. When you cut down that, you can play this off just like any normal play. And again, trim off red spots so you don't want. And now this fillet here is absolutely loaded with bones. So the easiest way to clean up this fillet is you take a fish or a fish a meat grinder and you turn this into fish hamburger. Put it right through the grinder. It'll take care of all those bones. It'll turn them right into mush with the meat and it'll turn it into a fish hamburger. Add Italian breadcrumbs, your seasoning, whatever you'd like, and you can make patties. And uh, if you guys would like to see that done, go ahead and comment below on the video, and I will go ahead and show you exactly how I do that with fish patties on this piece of meat. And we'll also do some smoking videos on these, and we'll also show you how I fry these up. So stay tuned for more.